Hey there, friends of the Camel Crew and those who want to join in the future maybe. It's another update video. First of all, I'm very sorry, it's way later than uh, what you are kind of uh, used to um, have from me. But today I've been away with an agency event and this is why I haven't had any time to look into things after work. And, you know, since uh, Frontier did post this trailer and all the info, um, you know, around noon for my time where I live, uh, I'm, I was still at work. So there was no chance to do it. And honestly, I wanted to skip this one. But but there is just so much great stuff in um, I wanted to talk about and uh, this 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 whole thing is also paired with some more info we got about beta so before I play the video actually you can see that the trailer in the background is already ready to be started uh, we're going to make like a little bit of a deep dive into this trailer there are a few bits and pieces in here I wanted to talk about because I think they are very important to talk about since they are very new for us um, or at least they're just kind of confirming stuff. And uh, talking about confirming stuff, there has also been uh, an Ask Me Anything on uh, Reddit going on. I don't know who of you have caught it, but um, there has been quite a bit of uh, yeah uh, question and answers going on on uh, the Reddit uh, of gaming. And uh, four people from the Frontier Development team did answer a bunch of questions where, to be fair, there's not too much new stuff in it, but it's still worthy to, to kind of take a little look into it. Um, I haven't even been able to, to go through it entirely but I'm gonna show you where to find it and show you some of the most important things in there uh, but yeah first of all we are going to go through the teaser trailer if you will for the beta and then after we check this and also the um, AMA we also have to look into the beta news we got today which for me personally was a little bit of a bummer because um, it, it kind of spoiled my entire plans since there will be no sandbox mode available in the beta that means um, we basically have to play the first level at, at least um, to a certain degree that we have a lot of money to to flex our creative muscles um, which also changes all my plans I really had a good plan uh, already set up but anyways I, I think you don't want to wait too long um, again as always the reminder I, I, I'm not using the original sound I'm not using the whole footage as it as you know it um, simply because I'm not allowed to you know it's, it's always the same it's not my material and if I'm using it first of all uh, I need to make sure that, to make my own content of it because people keep asking me why I'm not just playing the whole trailer and that's it. Um, I can't do it, it's not allowed, so we are just going to watch it once and then we talk about and, and stop it at certain points where I think it's it's necessary to stop. So yeah, we just go further a little bit over here um, and this is already the first thing we need to stop because that's a new animal. Uh, you have seen this already. Uh, at various channels, so I'm not I'm not going to to tell you something new when I say it's a very 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 nice addition that we do have the African buffalo in the game right now. Um, I when I saw the trailer very briefly on my phone uh, because as I said I was at work and, and I just checked my phone. I was at the first glance, like very first glance, I thought okay it's the African wild beast or wild beast, um, but clearly it's not. So it's a buffalo, which is very welcome to me. I like this animal quite a bit. Um, and what's also very interesting is you can see this lovely little calf over here I love it. Uh, it it's so cool it almost looks like like a little bit of cow which is uh, really cool I mean they are kind of related anyway so yeah it's really cool um, the buffalo I, I think it's a welcome addition um, uh, what I also like is that how it was kind of moving the water away from shaking its head um, yeah we have the tiger again the planet zoo logo is nothing new for us uh, also I was trying to check some stuff in here but since I do know this level quite well by now because I've been playing it this is also so the, the level you'll you'll be able to play in beta so um, it's already to, nice to see um, one animation though which I love to see um, because it again shows us I think this is one thing I was missing a bit on uh to show you guys while I was doing the live streams on Gamescom. Uh, I wanted to show you a bit more of the interaction between animals. Um, we've seen a lot of interaction going on, a lot of great stuff, but actually what is pretty cool and what they also confirmed in today's um, in today's AMA, there is not only the enrichment need, but people and also um, the animals, and especially the animals, they have social needs. Um, as you can see, they are mating over here. Uh, we've seen this also for the tapirs, um, which is uh, super, super nice to see. But there are also like different behaviors. For example, um, chimpanzees are going to clean them, you know, themselves, but also they are going to clean the other ones. Uh, as you are kind of used to see this from animals, or from chimpanzees or uh, monkeys in general, which is uh, a neat 
need to be fulfilled. So if they don't have any mates, uh, and let me just, sorry, let me just skip back because this is just too cool. Just look at this. Look at these little baby warthogs over here. They're like even smaller than the boxes. It's really cute. Uh, I really love them. I haven't seen them when I was playing it because I didn't get the warthogs in uh, in time, but yeah. So again, this is everything not new. Also nice to see it's the first time we see a female wet running. I mean, we, we knew that this is kind of happened. You can see in the background there is like an ostrich enclosure. It seems that at least to be with Gulpy Soda, which I love that the, the tongue of Gulpy is blue. It's a little bit of a detail, but I think I just love this little bit of a detail that the tongue is going to just uh, color. I don't even know if this is like kind of a, a discount or whatever this is, or if it just says how many uh, percent of the species are already saved by the amount of money donated, whatever. Um, really interesting to see. But yeah, you can see this is then the ostrich uh, uh, yeah, uh, habitat. But one thing I wanted to point out of here is obviously the three star rating, um, which was already pretty obvious that it will be in. Uh, however, we haven't seen it because the, the variant we played at Gamescom was not um, having this system, so it, it wasn't a real scenario, but it's nice to see that you have again like bronze, silver and gold, um, not too surprising. But now we are getting to a point which I don't know if you've seen my video um, talking about the secret camera. I did actually ask uh, in the AMA and also I did ask in the, um, not in the AIM, uh, only in the AMA, but also uh, the lay designer asked it also um, in the question and answer little thing with Frontier. If the secret camera icon we've seen, if you haven't seen the video, by the way, I'll put the link to the top right now. Um, there, There is a little camera icon in the game UI, which we don't really know about what this is, but if I need it, a very last confirmation that this is a cinematic camera which hopefully works with the preset of coordinates in the game then this must be the thing because actually there is no freaking way to do this kind of stuff you are seeing in a bit without this option let me just show you again what's happening right now so here you can see how the buildings change over time this is showing off the franchise mode let me just stop it again and do it again uh, to show it to you just once more so the camera movement, just just watch the camera movement. It's going from the left and just panning ever so slightly to the right hand side. And they're showing off the franchise mode, for those of you who don't know. It's a mode where like various players online build their own zoo, but everyone is kind of um, uh, charging one target. So let's say we all build in this one uh, scenario in the Indian subcontinent and we all need to make sure that we at least get, I don't know, two new tiger babies that can be uh, brought back into the wild, for example. And it's very, very hard to get the tigers because you need all these kind of uh, special uh, reward points uh, for treating your animals nice and everyone can, can basically create their own zoos. And this is what this panning shot is actually showing us. This is the same scenario in the exact same setting and the exact same target, but everyone can tackle it differently. So one has, for example, only this kind of, uh, yeah, I think it's it's more or less just a scenery uh, aspect over here. The other one has, if I'm not completely wrong over here, the, it seems to be that there are like four, even four small exhibits. I'm a bit confused though, because these are definitely small exhibits in here. Um, and it seems almost like these are like eight in total, like we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eight potentially. I can't really distinguish if there is a wall in between or if, if, if these are like bigger variants of the small exhibits, which we haven't seen yet, but it seems like this could be um, the same one. But yeah, it, it's nice to see that this is uh, possible to build various things in here. You can see many people build different things. Also, I love this little card over here. Um, but yeah, what I was just saying is like, you can see from the camera movement, if I just scroll the mouse over, you can see the camera movement is just perfect. There is like, there is no single distortion or distortion or whatever whatsoever. It's a very, very nice and tidy camera movement, which again, it's not possible to do without having a preset camera movement. You know, just imagine you have to do ex the exact same movement every time again with the controller or mouse or controller, what, however you want to call it. it, it it's physically not possible because you would have ever so slightly at least you would have some some bump in in there or like shaking or whatever but this is a preset movement also basically they did the same when we just move in you can see that they did this movement over here you can see it's 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 exactly the same 
And this is like the empty map, but once you go up, you can see that it's kind of creating the zoo how it looks. I mean, it's, it's an easy transition, but the transition only works because you have a preset camera movement. And honestly, you haven't seen something like that in Planet Coaster at all. Not even the devs used it, so I believe they have something in place now. If we will get it as a tool for ourselves, it's not a given, but it exists and this is, you know, as I said, if you do need um, any more confirmation, it's here, it's happening. So really great to see. Um, I, these are the little bit of details I love to look into and, and kind of distinguish if this is something special for us or not. Um, also, uh, these are the snakes. For me, I have to admit, I, I was a bit confused, but the lady told me we can have multiple snakes in one exhibit. I couldn't have them uh, in, in one exhibit in the the beta I played, uh, the beta, the um, the alpha version I played at um, Gamescom. I think because I might not have researched the right set to to, to do it. I don't know, um, but yeah. So what I what you can see from here over is see the kind of the, the, the protesters which we knew about already. Uh, then we have the, another look into the veterinarian station. Also nothing too too crazy, nothing too. Um, just zoom once back over here nothing too special because we have seen this up close already i just love that he's just wearing the gloves over here by the way it's so good just a little bit of a detail again yeah um again one thing i wanted to point out and let me just quickly check how they're called in english these nasty plants over here um i'll, I'll be you know uh, let me just see um uh, it's the stinging needle, uh, nettle, stinging nettle, the stinging nettle. For whatever reason, this is in a park. I don't know why you would do something like that. That's the most awful plant in this world. It's like it hurts. I mean, I mean, it's very, it's very healthy if you do brew tea out of it. It's very, very, very healthy if you're ill or whatever. Just, uh, just take a nip of a uh, tea. But. Um, I know that these are like foliage pieces, but this is kind of the, the, the stuff that usually just grows because you don't take care of your environment. I, you know, I'm quite sure it's not that kind of thing uh, because that would be too crazy if we would need to take care of our zoo in terms of also make sure that the foliage is not growing everywhere. Um, but I just found this a little bit of a nice detail that this is kind of not really a plant that you would use as nature. It's definitely something that makes things uglier, but it's also some animals do eat it and it's, it's kind of part of the environment anyways to make a natural habitat so really nice detail that they also included a uh, let's say plan that is not everyone's favorite so but one thing in this frame over here which is super interesting is me as a sucker for the the in-game pass system uh, in well a, a positive and negative way but um, I, I found this stair to be very interesting because as I remember in Planet Coaster there was no wooden stair and this stair over here does definitely look like a wooden one also it's extremely wide angle like it's a very wide um, uh, stair over here which is super interesting to see because I kind of like this um, it makes the whole thing feel more um, widespread and, and uh, more spacey which is a great thing I guess but yeah very nice to see the addition of wooden stairs actually finally because even if you choose the um, in Planet Coaster at least if you choose the normal uh, wooden path texture it kind of changed into a concrete staircase when you use the stairs of it um, but yeah that's that's it so we have another nice look on to the um, Indian elephant, which is one of those animals we already knew about, but we haven't seen in action too much. Even all the people on, on Gamescom, except IGN, I guess it was, um, they didn't even cover it, even though it was in the park. In my video, people even pointed out that you could hear it, um, and me was too stupid to find it. Also, the little baby elephant down here. I love that they, the, I think this, to be fair, I love the African elephant as well, but the model. The, the, the sole model and the appearance of, of how great they they realized it, I would favor this one. It looks stunning because like it's really on spot, if you ask me. I don't know, but I think in terms of the, you know, um, elephant, the, the uh, Asian elephant, it looks super nice. Uh, Indian elephant? No, yeah, well, it's it's kind of the Asian elephant anyways. Um, but here again, you have the, the nettle thing again, which uh, grows weirdly everywhere. I don't know, you know, that's, that's kind of thing I, I was a bit confused about. So here we go, we need to stop again. Uh, while the game tells us we are going wild, we have another new animal, which is the oryx. I hope I, I pronounced this correctly. The oryx, I needed to check this myself. I knew it was a new one, um, but I, I also knew that it's kind of a subspecimen of the antilopes. And um, 
So the oryx is a genus cons uh, consisting of four large antilope species called oryxes. Three of them are native to arid parts of Africa and the fourth, the Arabian uh, Peninsula. I don't know um, what kind of thing this in exactly is, but um, I think it's the Gamsbok, also called, um, uh, and it's the Oryx Gazella, Gazella, which is part of the Antilopes. And now I'm completely confused because for me, if you would have told me that way, I, I would have thought it's like four animals. But <laughs> basically it's one animal, uh, it, it's well known as the Gamsbok, but it's also like an Oryx. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it fits because it's another an uh, animal from the African subcontinent. Um, but yeah, it's it's very interesting to know, and also Arabia, which kind of meanders into the su Indian subcontinent. Make sure that this is in the right um, level over here. Yeah, we get another lovely shot of it while it's running past us. I don't know why my computer decides to give give us some weird pixel fragments over here. Let me just try if I can catch it a bit nicer. Here we go. That's a lot nicer to look at. Ah, oh, it's smiling. Yeah, we see our friend the buffalo again, our grizzly bear, um, and again the wonderful. Again, I just love this model of the uh, Indian elephant, it's so good. We have our rhinos, the Indian rhinos, we have a wonderful look at the gharial, um, paired with their baby gharials in here, which are swimming, I think it, it could be the mom. Also talking of the mom, we have the tapir mom with the lovely little uh, pucks and uh, how they just play in, in the um, wonderful stuff, uh, uh, when it goes in, in the mud, I should say. Um, but if we just go further, we can see one of our favorite animals, at least my favorite animal, it's like the, the mandrel, just um, yeah, walking past the lock, I guess it is. We have another nice shot of the peafowl. I also love the cherry trees or cherry blossom trees over here. Look very nice indeed. Uh, I was wondering if um, our, our, our zookeeper down there, let me just quickly check this. Uh, the zookeeper, I believe he had a poover in his hand first. No, what is that? What is that in his hands? Oh, it is the poover. Okay, it looked a bit weird by by moving it down. Okay, never mind. It's the poover. Uh, but yeah, so that's about the footage. Um, there's nothing more, right? It's just the info about uh, what is coming up next. Okay, great. So I think we just made a good point here. Let's just keep ourselves uh, just wonderful. Like you know, I I kind of. Uh, completely confused with Mexican and this looks Mexican except this top thing right here but you know if you see this first you could mistake it with Mexican I'm just saying I'm just trying to save my ass here <laughs> anyhow uh, but yeah guys uh, this is this is all I can tell about this wonderful um, very very informative uh, new trailer at least if you ask me uh, there were a few bits and pieces in here which I found very interesting to see um, but for now, this should be everything I can tell about this uh, trailer and therefore we just hop over to the Frontier forums and very, very briefly go over the feedback out of the AMA. So I'll see you there after the cut. Great. So here we are back now. Um, as promised, we are in the uh, forums of Frontier and the big shout out as always to Joel who actually boiled this all down in this one post and um, yeah he kind of uh, boiled together all the answers that Frontier gave and uh, if you're wondering who gave the answers it's NDC from Frontier, it's Mark from Frontier, it's Piers from Frontier and we all know her the wonderful Bo from Frontier and they all had various questions about various topics most of them as I said, are pretty much very, 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 very obvious. Um, we don't really need to cover, but one thing, and this is kind of what makes the, um, you know, uh, most interesting topic for most people, but I think for now we can finally put a full stop here. It is not possible to integrate Planet Zoo into Planko or vice versa. It's another, um, it's, it, as they say, it's existing in the same universe, but they are ultimately a different game experience. Ultimately. Guys, get it and you know this is it's fine it's good there is no big issue about this because of the many reasons we talked about already um, for those of you who still believe it should have been uh, in addition to Planet Zoo um, it's a fair point you, you can have that opinion everyone is, uh, is allowed to have their own opinion but I think if you try at least to to see it from an objective standpoint there is no good argument to to stay within the planet uh, Planet Coaster franchise because it would have sacrificed the quality of a potential zoo, good zoo game uh, by a lot simply because of the performance that Planet Coaster experiences at the moment already. So yeah, that said, let's skip over that topic. One very interesting thing is um, the sandbox mode 
is um, available from the get-go. And it might not see a big thing, but I think it's one of the biggest complaints about Jurassic World Evolution. Jurassic World Evolution had the problem that you needed to unlock everything before you were able to go into the sandbox. From a game experience standpoint, I can kind of understand why a developer would do it, so they kind of uh, force you to play the scenario and, and kind of uh, make you experience the whole game as it is, you know, meant to be experienced. However, if you are more like the sandbox person, it's kind of taken away from you from the get-go and you, you know, for those people who just wanted to play sandbox, they needed to spend hours and hours in the actual game to be able to play sandbox in the way they want, love to do it and it's always bounded to that one save file and I think they learn from it and just offer this from the get-go um, and uh, there we go, it's um, happy to tell that it is available from the very start and does not have to be unlocked. However, and this is the topic we have to talk about later, the sandbox is not available in the beta. Screw you, Frontier. I'm just making, no, I'm not making jokes. I'm a bit sad here. I will still enjoy it though, but yeah. Um, another thing is really interesting is, um, yeah, well, they, they obviously don't talk about uh, marine life or water animals or whatever. This is kind of obvious that they didn't do. I think no one has expected that. Um, one thing also people would look like, you know, potentially would have thought would be there from the get-go, but it's not. The Theme Maker's Toolkit uh, will not be available from the beginning, but they also don't say it's gone, so potentially we will see making it a return in an improved version later on in the development of Planet Zoo, but uh, for the moment it's not. Then we have a bunch of questions from our uh, awesome delay designer. Um, I, I, I don't need to cover all of them, but one thing that is really interesting is this third uh, answer basically over here and this question was if the size of the the maps are the same size as in Planet Coaster as if you know Planet Coaster you know that the the maps are fairly large and uh, the they do offer enough space to make kind of safari experience parks and and go really crazy with your imagination and um, that you know in that kind of sense it's really interesting to know that they kept the same size and they didn't went smaller maybe in in favor of performance um, so it's it's very very nice so um, everything else is just nice try lady and I cannot answer uh, which yeah was obvious because um, it's uh, when we do ask questions, uh, we, we kind of have stuff in mind already and this is obvious that they can't really uh, un uh, you know, answer these questions. I think this is basically most of the stuff we have, um, you know, we need to cover because everything else will be um, very, very much uh, likely. Also, which is really interesting, oh no, one thing is very, very interesting, let me just type this in because I, um, uh, let's see... Um, Okay, where's the other terrain info? Um, doot, 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 doot. Um, there is the info now that we will be able to copy terrain into the blueprints. I believe it was more in the beta info and not in, in the AMA. Uh, because I remember that... Oh, let's just type in blueprints for a second. I'm sorry, I, I would have loved to pr prepare that a bit better for you guys, but um, it's, it's a bit hard to do it. Anyways, this is the cool thing um, I wanted to show you. Uh, I have some question. My own question, will path also be included in blueprints like terrain? This is, you know, knowing already that terrain will be included. I have no clue, by the way, how they do it but it's insane that this is available I mean this is something that is huge for me as a Planko nerd because this was something uh, doing blueprints was a lot of fun but you you kind of experience a, a lack of immersion by the fact that you couldn't include your terrain work so for example I couldn't have offered people my lovely land work or like terrain work from Isla Napali. I made this wonderful coastline. Everyone was asking if I could get this delivered to them and I said no. I mean how should I be able to put that in the blueprint? However, I'm wondering how they will now um, tackle the sizes maybe of the blueprint, you know, because I mean you, you could potentially make them a blueprint of your whole map or how does it work? I thought it will be very interesting to see how this works and how it kind of uh, changes your own terraforming if you if you need to go with a uh, flat terrain I, I think they would do it the way they tackled also the flattened terrain option now so I believe you will get the blueprint and the basic the footprint of the blueprint will flatten the terrain uh, from the height that you selected and basically create the terrain around it um, this would be my guess but you know um, who am I to judge it however a cool thing is that they are still looking into supporting path in blueprints and this is definitely something I am super excited to hear. I mean, if they 
wouldn't have a serious approach on bringing that feature in, they would have answered that they have no info on that right now. But the, the fact that peers actually answers that they are still looking into it means that they have it on their radar, which is really, really, really great. And I, I, I couldn't be more happy um, if they would implement that. It would be huge for me. It would be super huge because that means that I'm finally back in the game to making great, great blueprints for you guys, including path and including terrain. Holy heck, that will make for a great experience to exchange things. And um, I think also for the casual players, that will be a insane thing to make really nice zoos in, in like no time, you know? It will make you be kind of, it will hand you over the power of all the creativity of the whole community uh, at a fingertip, which um, the basically the idea was the same in Planet Coaster, but several things, as we talked about, kind of prevented from the full great experience uh, of that. And uh, yeah, if they, if they change these two things, we are a lot closer um, to to this great experience. Anyways, so now um, before we before we kind of uh, end this episode, I'm just going back to the trailer and, and and leave it looping in the background because we quickly need to talk about my plans for the beta. So if you're still interested in that, just keep with me. It will be two more additional minutes or something just to talk about what my plans are now because obviously plans have changed um, due to the fact that there will be no sandbox mode and I wanted to update you on that. But I'm going to make an info video about this anyways. But just to, for you guys. Um, who, who spent your night uh, looking into this anyways. I will give it this little bit of info to you right now. Great, so here we go. Um, so the sandbox mode is not available. That means we have to play the game as they told us, either in franchise mode or in the scenario mode. Um, I will have a little look into what is easier to do because I think potentially I think the franchise mode could be better because it doesn't really necessarily drive you through the scenario. Um, I don't know if it'll take away like time wise. I don't know if you have the introdu introduction in the franchise mode or if it's more like the, the challenge mode where you just go in, have no tutorial whatsoever, you just play, start playing the game um, more or less from scratch. I don't know how it is, but I will take the more easy version to be on a quick get-go. And what we will do, as soon as the game is available, I'll, I am going to download it. Hopefully we can even pre-download it. I don't know if this will be happening or not, but I'm going to download it and I will be starting to streaming on YouTube right away. And this will be more likely like one hour after they announce, uh, they, they said that the game will be available. It will be at 4 p.m. BST, which is five my time. And so my plan is to stream from six to seven, which is from 1800 to 1900 Central European time um, for one hour on YouTube. Reason being why it's only one hour is because I wanted to give you like a nice heads up um, just for the game, telling you everything that is available, blah, blah, blah. You know, that kind of thing. And we start playing already. We try to, to kind of start laying out the um, basis, the foundation for what we will hopefully make this evening into a very nicely running park that makes us a whole bunch of money so we can flex our creative muscles in this one. So that means after this hour I will be making a little break to get some food, to get some dinner, to make myself ready for a very, very, very long 8, 9, 10 hour stream on Twitch. So this is what I'm planning right now. I will be then, I think it might be around 8 to 9-ish uh, p.m. that I'll be joining um, my live stream on Twitch, which effectively means that we will spend the whole evening on Twitch. Um, I, I will try to answer as many questions as possible. Obviously, this VOD will make it to YouTube anyways, but um, I will make this as, as kind of interactive and, and immersive for you as possible. So originally I was planning to just have a shorter live stream of like two or three hours and then afterwards I wanted to play myself and, and build some crazy buildings already and, and make some time lapses out of it. But this is all gone, like there is no chance of, of doing that, um, which effectively means that I will need to uh, play the game properly first of all, which we will make that night because I am, I have taken off the next day, which means that I have the next day at hand to to be a bit more creative but hence I need to prepare myself a little foundation to do this so please if you can if you want to join make first of all sure to to follow my uh, twitch channel already that you are informed when I go over but obviously I, I, I keep reminding you of that also in the little video um, in the live stream on YouTube but then again I'm trying to play yeah well as long as it takes to have a 
crazily good running zoo that makes us a shit ton of money um, without any problems and maybe even all the animals unlocked already so that's basically what we need to go for immediately like rushing to it it's more like a, a speed play then but we still have to make sure that we don't only go on, on, on fast thing but we also need to make sure that the game is running properly and, and the, the whole setup of the zoo is already good so in a way it's a very nice challenge because um, we will be forced to test this game to its limits of the management game and depth so I really hope that it's not only taking two hours and I'm already making a shit ton of money that would be very much uh, something I'm not looking forward to because that would mean the game would be way too easy I mean it's kind of a feedback anyways but yeah so anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, I don't want to bother you even longer. The video got a lot longer than I expected, but I, I thought I'd uh, make as, as much of a very informative video for you guys as possible and just boil it all down in this one video. And uh, let's see what you guys come up with. Please, all the questions you have, all the feedback to this video, all the ideas you have for the beta, all the kind of uh, uh, things you still have in mind about this game. Put it down in the comments below. Get active. I will try to answer as many possible questions and um, come back to you as, as much as I can. So, see you next time and uh, enjoy your night, day, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. See you next time and bye, guys. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you appreciate that and now a special thanks also to all the people supporting me here on that channel, making this all possible. You can see that on the left hand side right now and also if you want to see more of my stuff make sure to click that card on the right top now and if you want to stick around make sure to hit that sub button which is on the bottom right of the screen. If you want to see stuff on my social media, sneak peeks and stuff like that, it is on the bottom left on the screen and yeah I hope to see you again in the next episode, until then enjoy your time guys. And bye.